Brighton. This is my city. Like my Uncle Ben used to say, with great power comes great responsibility. But actually thinking about it, maybe it's within everyone's power and responsibility to do kind things. Little things like, um, oh, find litter that people have dropped and put them in the bin. Well, while I go and find a bin, why don't you see what my other superhero friends are up to doing kind things. Check you later. Madam, you're up to your elbows in washing up. Let me help. Thank you. Oh no! Two citizens are getting cold and wet from the rain! Save them, Black Panther! I'm too short to put up this picture. What shall I do? What's that? A citizen in distress? Let me get that for you. Perfect. I'm Miraculous Ladybug. I'm helping my mum to tidy up. Tidy up. Well, do you? Of course not. God uses ordinary people just like you and me to do his work. We can all be kind. And I'm sure after watching those amazing acts of kindness, you might be inspired to do something kind this week too. You know, there's power in doing kind things. Because when you are kind to someone, especially somebody who might be feeling lonely or sad or upset, it makes them feel loved and special. It's like turning a frown upside down. So I wonder, what kind thing can you do for somebody this week? Superheroes might have their own power, but we have something greater as Christians. God's power. When we let God's power work through us, we can do so much more than we can imagine. So let God's power work through you as you reach out to do something kind for somebody this week. We're going to sing a song now that many of the kids will know. It has superheroes in it and gladiators. But it reminds us that we don't have to be superheroes or gladiators to do God's work. Ah, oh, thank you. That's kind. This sure is thirsty work. 